All right, good evening. Um, tonight we're going to make a roast chicken. This is a very, very simple dish. I'm going to do it my style. You not, might not be aware of how uh, to do a really good roast chicken. So I've got a hot oven. It's been going for a good 20 minutes, half hour, 400 degrees. I'm going to put this chicken in there, about an hour, then turn it down to about 350. And um, cook it for about another half an hour. Okay, this is a very small bird. So I'm going to zoom down here. I'm going to show you how to make a really nice chicken. Um, this is not an island grown chicken. I can't afford the 28, 30 bucks to buy a chicken. Uh, but this is an organic off island chicken. Very nice little bird, tiny, tiny bird. Um, I'm hoping to find something on the island that's going to be even, even uh, better for us here. So, what we're going to do first, I've got some fresh rosemary I just picked out of the garden. I'm going to stick that in there. I've got some um, lemon thyme. I'm going to put that in there as well. That'll give it a nice lemonish kind of flavor. And a couple of cloves of garlic. Skin's still on, and I've just smashed them a little bit. And I'm going to stick that in there as well. Um, okay, I've got three knobs of butter here. I'm going to take one of the knobs of butter and put it straight in the cavity. Okay. Now, the trick about your chicken, when you buy a chicken, you always want to wash it and then dry it thoroughly. Dry it off thoroughly, pat it with some paper towels or whatever you've got handy. Um, and then another good thing to do here is um, make sure that the bird kind of sits upright. Sometimes they're not trimmed quite rightly. So first thing I'm going to do, I put my uh, ingredients in there and I'm, now I've got to just get the apron here. There's a little bit of skin between the breast, okay? I'm going to pull my... Pull my skin back and just throw my fingers down in that breast like that. And I'm going to do that both sides, okay? Just, just like that. I'm just going to kind of ease my fingers down in there. And I'm going to put another little chunk of butter in there. Just like that. If you get lucky enough, you get it all in. And then just, just wiggle that down into that cavity that I just made. Just by holding the skin taut there and then just easing it down with your fingers. I'll do the exact same thing with the other side. There we go. This is simple. And I'll tell you what, chicken, I think I just paid like $9 for this thing. Um, chicken, if you don't eat it all tonight, it's going to keep your family fed for another couple of days, alright? So I'm just going to wipe my hands off here. Got a bit of a mess going here. So. What I'm going to do now is cover it with olive oil, okay? Nice bit of olive oil, get it on there, no worries, lots of, lots of olive oil, just get it on there because you want it to have plenty of oil on there to start bubbling and cooking. Now I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper on, not too much black pepper, I put a little bit too much there, there we go, and then salt. Trick to a nice chicken with lots of salt on the skin. If you like the skin, the skin's going to crisp up. It's going to be really flavorful if you do it like this. So this is Eden sea salt. This is not kosher. It doesn't have any additives in it. Okay, this is just pure salt and it literally tastes like the, the sea. It's wonderful stuff. It's from the Bay of Biscay in France and it's available in all of our local, uh, local markets including Gourmet Galley. Okay, I'm going to lift this bird up now and put it on our rack and I'm going to bang that in the oven, 400 degrees Shouldn't have done that, a bit noisy um, 400 degrees for about an hour and then turn it down to 350 and then just check it about half hour after that So here we go, going in the oven Lovely, let that go, what time is it? It's 20 to 6, we'll see you in an hour all right, lovely then. So the bird's been a three pound bird, been in the oven for an hour at 400, turn it down to 325, it's been in for another 20 minutes. So good rule of thumb, 20 minutes per pound, then 20 minutes on top of that, just to finish her off. But I pulled this out maybe a little bit too early, but I've got a feeling, I know Marvin, I've got a feeling it's done. So um, what I've done here is I've just taken that bird out and I've put my, um, knife in just to make sure that liquids are flowing out clear there's no blood in there and usually put that in right behind the leg um, or you can go in further down the side there but 
That bird now should sit for at least 20 to uh, well, 20 minutes to 30 minutes. It's not going to get cold, believe me. It's just going to sit there, it's going to release the juices, and then it will suck the juices back up. And that's what you want. You're looking for a moist bird. Um, got my veggies in the uh, drippings here, and I'm just going to toast them off and throw them back in the oven. But this is all I'm teaching you today is how to do a nice bird. And I tell you, if you do it like this, it'll be flavorful. Um, no rubbish. I mean, this is, this is like living here, mate. This is loveliness, okay? Bon appétit!